<laughs> uh, Lucy, good morning to you. Good morning. So if you were with us last week, Joe was saying you made game day meatballs and they weren't <laughs> necessarily game day meatballs, but they could be. Today, you brought the game day food. I know, I'm glad I'm on theme with your <laughs> mozzarella sticks. I know. And yes, so I thought we would do a, a dip today, um, which would be good, of course, for the Labor Day weekend. If you're going somewhere, it's still good room temp, um, or of course, football season um, is upon us. Sure. It's here, it's here already. And so, yes, today we're doing our roasted red pepper and artichoke dip. Mm -hmm. And it's a hot dip, like I said, you can eat at room temp, but still good. So, I'll, I'll kind of explain um, the red peppers first. So, I took a jar, a 16 ounce jar of roasted red peppers, and I drained them. And then I put them in my food processor and just pulsed huh. them up until they were, you know, finely chopped. And then I put them back in the colander. And I did a lot of this at home, so a lot of the juice, but about half a cup of juice is going to come out. This is just kind of what's left. Yeah. And then you just take a little spatula and just, we're trying to get all of the liquid out of those peppers before we put them in the dip. And so you just, you know, keep doing this and that's kind of the first step. So it has a chance to uh, get all that liquid out. So that's what I've done here. Got it. And then I also took one can of artichoke hearts, drained those, and chopped those up with a food processor too, just because I already had it out. Sure. But of course, you could just rough chop those with a knife if you wanted to do that. So our artichokes and our roasted red peppers are ready. She has the coolest kitchen gadgets. I would never think to buy something like this, but I need this in my life. I know it's small. got a slight curve. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> it's like her, and it's small. You. you know, I like small stuff. Oh my god. Uh, but yes. So how we'll get you a small spatula okay. for your kitchen. Okay, thank uh, you. So this is just eight ounces of cream cheese softened, and so I'm just going to hit this with the hand mixer for mm -hmm. a second, and then uh, we'll add uh, one cup of sour cream uh -huh. and half a cup of mayo, and we'll go ahead and get that incorporated before we add everything else. Yum! I was telling Joe and Jen yesterday we've been making these football treats. Joe mm -hmm. made a rotel dip. Um, Jen made a cookie dough dip, which was really good. Oh. I just love a dip. I know. I do too. My sister really does. My sister Betsy, mm -hmm. uh, she likes to have dip parties. Love we, it. Yep. We did that growing up. Everybody would bring a dip or, you know, make a dip for supper. And um, so, yeah, we're all about dip at our house yeah. too. Uh, so that's fun. I'll have to look at those. I yeah. didn't see those. Uh, Jen's was really good. Joe's like was really that. good too. I like this because it's got a little bit of spice in it. So mm -hmm. when we come back, Lucy, what will we do? Okay, Continue we're going to put it all together. working on our dip. Yep. And then the good thing about this too, of course, I have it with pita chips today, but mm -hmm. this one is really good with, uh, you could do different color bell peppers, sliced up would be good, mm -hmm. um, celery of course would be good, so, um, and of course it's good with any kind of cracker, but yeah. you know, some dips are just better with vegetables, and this one's really good with vegetables. All right, well Lucy will continue her dip coming up on Studio 10. It's almost game day. It is. <laughs> <laughs> We are back in the kitchen with Lucy from Greer's and you are making a dip. Yes, we're making our roasted red pepper and artichoke dip. And I already told everybody uh, about the roasted red peppers, and, but I'll just go over it again. So I just took one jar of 16 ounces roasted red peppers. I drained that off and I popped them in the food processor and just pulsed them up and then put them in the colander. And I started at home and just started pushing out all of the liquid. And mm. there was, right now, this is probably like, a couple of tablespoons, but there's about half a cup of liquid that came out at home. So I just take a spatula and you just want to get all of the liquid out. Mm -hmm. And so that's the, of course, roasted red pepper part. And then I have a can of artichoke hearts that I just pulsed up in the food processor too. You got to take the liquid out to not make the dip too liquidy. Basically? Yes, okay. exactly. And so now we're just going to have the concentrated flavor um, of the roasted red peppers without having all that liquid in there. Mm -hmm. So, and then in this bowl, I started with eight ounces of cream cheese and I added half a cup of mayo and one cup of sour cream. And now we're going to add uh, the other ingredients for our dip. So I just have a quarter teaspoon of black pepper half a teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And then we're gonna add two green onions sliced up. I have two tablespoons of, I just always have the diced jalapenos in my fridge, just in the jar, but you could use fresh if you wanted to, or canned, that's just what I always have. And then a quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese, and I'll get that mixed in, and then we're just gonna add our red peppers and our artichokes. 
So last Friday night, high school football kicked off across the state of Alabama. This Saturday, we have the first college games of the season. The week after that, NFL is kicking off. So I'm sure Greer's gets busy during this time, too, with people throwing football parties and get-togethers and all that sort of stuff. Yes, absolutely. And Labor Day, you know, it's hard to believe that uh, the kind of the send-off of summer is here. But if you are, if you shop at a store that has a deli, we do party trays. Mm -hmm. um, so if you want to order chicken tenders or sandwiches or cookies, or fruit trays, anything like that. Um, you can find the information there in the store and get that ordered. And of course, you know, pick up dips and all these other things that are already prepared in the deli. And then we have our Labor Day ad that broke today. Um, so if you are going to be outside grilling or cooking, um, we have, of course, our uh, Amazing meat department always has the best prices on um, the the main item for your plate. So check out the ad if you haven't planned your meals yet. I haven't. You haven't? Are we're, you? What are you going to do? Are you going to cook? We're working on uh, Monday, but I would like to get on the grill with something. I got to think about that. Yeah, um, you know, or a smoker, Spiro. Um, I got him a, a smoker in a silent auction that I went to, so he did. Oh, nice. Yeah, he did some chicken um, last week, but, you know, those electric smokers, pretty much anyone can do that. So if you have one of those and. Uh, hey, don't diminish his Spiro skill. <laughs> Now, even I can do that. I do not like to get near the grill. I do not like to get near a smoker. I like to let other people do that, but I could probably even do that. He, yes, he usually, uh, he actually does really good um, smoked meats. And I was like, well, maybe if I got him an electric one that he wouldn't have to be outside watching the meat all day. Hey, you got to watch the meat. <laughs> you, you got, you know, it takes time. You got to put love into it. Yeah. All right. So we're going to continue to work on this dip here. What a great recipe it is. You can get all your Labor Day needs, all your game day needs, all of your everyday needs mm -hmm. at Greer. So go check it out. Lucy, good to see you as always. You we'll too. be back in a bit. Right. Welcome back to the kitchen with Lucy. I'm snacking on your dip now. Yes, a plus and I like your mozzarella sticks. Thank you, thank you. I had to shovel it down. <laughs> they were good though. I did not know that about the freezer. Yeah, so the freezer is the key. Otherwise, um, like Jen said, the cheese will escape and yeah. be gone. Oh, that yeah. would be, I would like have cried if be I would have done all that work. Did you cry, Jen? Uh, Close to crap. Yeah, I probably would have yeah, Got it. Um, good, well that'd be something fun to do with the kids. Sure. sure. The mozzarella sticks, yeah. we always have those at our house. Yeah. Um, well, we are finishing up our dip. We made a roasted red pepper and artichoke dip, and it's something that you can make ahead, you know, earlier in the week, and you can bake off uh, for game day or, you know, whatever you have going on. And I'm just going to now put it into an 8 by 8 baking dish, mm -hmm. and it just bakes at 350 for about 25 minutes. And what we did for our dip was the base of it was 8 ounces of sour cream, and half a cup of mayo and eight ounces of cream cheese. And then we added a little bit of salt, pepper, and garlic powder, some green onions. And then we use one can of artichoke hearts that we just chopped up in the food processor. And then one jar of roasted red peppers that we drained, chopped up in the food processor. And then I showed how we put it in the colander yeah. and just squeezed all of the liquid out of that. And you can see, of course, it's really pretty. And we added a little bit of Parmesan cheese to the mixture. And now I'm going to add just a little bit on top. And at this point, of course, you could pop it in the fridge and then just bake it off a little bit later. Uh, but it's, you know, pretty good hot and cold. So that's what that's I like about it, too. So which is nice. nice. Yeah, if you're traveling, mm -hmm. um, whatever you want to do. Or it seems like you, you don't have to bake it too long so you can no, take yeah. it to your destination mm -hmm. and then cook yes. it there. So if you want something different for your football mm. party or Labor Day, whatever you have going on, you could try that one. Yum. So this is a really, really yummy recipe. If you want to find it, of course, you go to Greer's.com mm -hmm. or Fox10TV.com. You guys are really busy right now. Yes, check our ad. If you uh, don't get it by email, just go to our website. You can find the ads or on social. And our Labor Day ad break today, of course. And so I was telling Joe, mm -hmm. uh, if you don't like to cook and you want to have if you're having a party then you could place an order in our deli of course for fried chicken or chicken tenders or any kind of party tray um so all they have all that information yeah. and um yep yeah, but always have everything you need their fried chicken and their chicken salad which are both oh, Lucy's yes. recipes chicken are salad. really really good so make <laughs> sure you, you try them out if you can lucy thank you thank you have a good weekend and we will have this recipe online jen it's really good